Hey, what's going on guys? Gun Shed here and welcome! So I wanted to do a really cinematic -y video out in the open and things um, to reveal the new bike. Unfortunately, um, I didn't have time this morning, then it got filthy, so I couldn't really do one. But I've just cleaned it, but now it's dark outside. So, here is my new bike. There we go, so it is a 2018 Honda CBR650F. Um, really, really pleased with that. I did about 160 miles on it today. Um, absolutely loved every minute of it. Um, so a couple of things I've done. Sorry, you're going to have to remove, excuse all the rubbish and things. Um, and hopefully you can see it all right. But yeah, so I've had a couple of optional extras put on it. Um, I've had uh, RNG sliders to protect the fairings in case I drop it, or worse. Um, tank pad, sorry, knee pads, but I'm really not impressed with how they've done them. They're uh, very bubbly. There's lots of air bubbles in them, they're clear so it shows. So, And also they mounted them too high, they actually need to be about here. But uh, one of those things. Um, tank pad, obviously, just to protect against jacket scratching and stuff like that. Uh, I put the Jivy tank ring on myself for my top tank bags. Always put one of those on my bikes. Um, and the first time ever, I bought aftermarket levers. So ASV adjustable levers. I found when I took the courtesy bike out, um, the levers were a bit far apart. And... I thought, well, if I'm getting levers, I might as well get decent ones. And I have to say, they're so nice to use. Really, really smooth. Um, but yeah, so really happy with it. Um, still running it in. I did 100 and... I think it was about 140, 150 miles today on it. Really, really comfortable, surprisingly so. Um, which is great. Um, sounds nice. Obviously, I can't wind it up just yet. Um, I've got another... 450 miles to do before I can do um, but hopefully next weekend I should be verging on that and then book it in for its first service um, and go from there but really pleased with it the only thing is the red, it's a bit like the green on the Kawasaki the red just doesn't show up on the camera very well I don't know if I can focus the camera and it'll make it any better but yeah, really really pleased with it such a stunning bike and I think I've said before my V-Strom now, I didn't really sit in the garage and just stare at it, um, whereas this, I got it, and I just absolutely love the look of it. Really, really nice, so pleased with it. Um, but, you know, I wasn't getting on with the V-Strom, I wasn't loving it, and if you, you know, if you have something worth quite a bit of money, there's no point in having it if you don't really love it, so, yeah, really happy, and uh, can't wait to be able to open it up a bit, it's a proper little screamer. So, yeah, other than that, all good. Oh, I had uh, bobbins fitted to the rear for a paddock stand. I need to actually get a paddock stand. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. I'll do a review of it after the first service, as I did with the V-Strom. But it's amazing. I mean, it's only got a little screen on it. But having clean air, um, not sort of turbulence on your helmet. Okay, you can feel it in terms of wind hitting you. Um, which is fine, that doesn't bother me. It's when you get really sort of turbulent air that just sort of knocks you around. Don't get any of that. Um, so really impressed. But yeah, there we go. All very shiny, shiny and new. It did get very, very dirty. You can see by the uh, state of the tire, rear tire. I'm not cleaning tires. I don't do that. Um, but yeah, it was absolutely coked. So there we go. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and take care.